Diverse voices. Unique sound. Not the same old thing. Different, different. This is NOCO FM. Open Stage Theater and Company presents Rabbit Hole Radio Theater's production of Portals. Episode 1, Inheritance. Middle of the lesson, and the guy says to me, Dude, my fingers are killing me. How do you stand it? And I tell him, I've been playing guitar since I was eight. You've been playing guitar since 8.30, you know? <laughs> <laughs> playing since you were eight? I believe it. Your music is amazing, Orlando. Every time I see one of your shows, it's just... I'm speechless. Speechless? Allison Drake, coming from you, that's high praise indeed. Jerk. I mean it. And thanks for walking me to my studio. I have a lot of work to catch up on. My gallery show is in two weeks and I'm not even ready. Least I could do for a fan. Oh, you walk a lot of lady fans to their studios, Mr. Waters? Well, that's between me and the lady fans now, isn't it, Ms. Drake? A discreet blues guitar virtuoso. That's not natural. (laughs) Neither am I. Allison... Allison Drake? Uh, Allie, did you call for a cab? Oh, right here, right here. That's fine. Here, Joe. Keep the change, my good man. Barnaby? Barnaby Briggs? Allison Drake? How? Oh, wonderful to see you. Barnaby, it's been forever. When did you get into town? Oh, where's Uncle Max? Wait, are you staying somewhere? Because I have a new apartment and it has a futon and everything, so you could stay with me, you know. And Allison, we- dear girl, please. This is Harris Tweed and doesn't respond at all well to Mulling. Neither do I, for that matter. <laughs> get over it, you old rascal. Oh, Barnaby, this is Orlando Waters. Orlando? This is Barnaby Briggs, Uncle Max's closest friend. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Briggs. Likewise, Mr. Waters. You know, Allison, it's a horrible blow to my self-esteem to be constantly referenced as Max's friend. I do have a few accomplishments that stand on their own merit, hmm? Oh, forgive me, good sir. Master Waters, may I present Barnaby Briggs, Esquire, gentleman scholar, adventurer, and rogue of the highest order. Oh, rogue. I rather like that. Barnaby, this is perfect. We're a half block from my studio. I can show you and Uncle Max my artwork. Well, actually, my dear, Wait. I I know. Max is unpacking, or taking care of some business, or some other lame excuse. Whatever, his loss. Come on, he can see it later. Allison, please, I don't think... Allie, did you leave the light on in your studio? I... I don't think so. Yeah, right. You two stay here. I'll check it out. The now hell see I here, will. Mr. This Waters. is my studio we're talking no, about. No, no, enough. I've dealt with the brigands before, which is more than the two of you can say. Brigands? So stay behind me and keep quiet. Who says brigands? Shouldn't we call the police? I've got my cell phone. Accursed things ought to be banned. It may be nothing, my dear. We're just going to reconnoiter. Reconnoiter? Shut up, Orlando. Easy now. Steady. Oh, my God. What? What is it? Did you paint all of these, Allison? My God, they're magnificent. Such bold, expressive brushwork, such articulate color usage, they're absolutely... Barnaby! What? Is anything missing? I don't think so. Wait, something's wrong. What? This one is... I know I painted flowers on that table. The flowers in the painting are gone? And the girl in this one. There's nothing there, Allie. It's just an empty couch. What? This... Oh my god, this is weird. Hey, here's the padlock from the door. Looks like it's been twisted off somehow. Probably a crowbar or something. How could... Why would somebody do this? Allison, I'm so sorry. But I must say, vandalism aside, I am extremely proud of you. This is an impressive body of work. You've really bloomed into a talented young woman. Thanks, Barnaby. Most of the pieces seem okay, I guess. I can't wait to show Uncle Max. I hope he thinks so, too. Actually, Allison, that's why I came to see you, actually. Forgive me for intruding. God! What the heavens? Who the hell are you? Caliban. Master Briggs, what a delight to see you, and in such good health. Caliban? You've got to be kidding You know this guy, Barnaby? Master Briggs and I are acquainted, Miss Drake. Your timing is abysmal, Caliban. Come back another time, won't you? Sadly, Master Briggs. 
As a duly appointed representative of Royce and Associates, I have a responsibility to dispatch. Miss Allison Drake, it is my unfortunate duty to present you with this summons to appear at the reading of the will of Maximilian Crow tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. sharp in the Wells wait, building. Wait, wait, what? A will? Max's will? I, I don't... Allison? Oh, my dear... That's what I came to tell you. Max is dead. But are you there? Can you hear me? I wanna be anywhere. Anywhere but here. Stupid question, but are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Max has always been a part of my life, Lando. I'm sure it was always two or three hours at a time every three or four months, but... He traveled a lot? I guess. I honestly don't know. It was never an issue, you know? He'd swoop in from somewhere, we'd cram in a few hours of quality time, and then he'd be off. He could have been an art dealer or, I don't know, a smuggler for all I know. Well, for what it's worth, I think you're taking it pretty damn well. I don't think I'm taking anything. It's not real. Not yet. Well, when you get the news from Dracula's legal secretary... Caliban? Yeah, that was freaky. You ever hear of Royce and Associates? My subscription to the Law Review ran out a few years ago. <sighs> you're such a smartass. Yeah, but I'm a charming smartass. It makes all the difference. Is this it? Crossroads Plaza, yep. Pretty uptown, huh? Brass, marble, and Armani. I can smell the cologne from here. Allie? Allison! Lando! Hey, Michaela. Hi, Kayla. Hey, Lando. Oh, Allie, I'm so sorry. I know Max meant a lot to you. Thanks, Michaela. And thanks for being here for me. Allie, you couldn't keep me away. We've been through too much together. And when the going gets weird... Then weird turn pro. Thanks, Kayla. Hey, where's Barnaby? Is he gonna be here? He said he'd meet us inside. You ready? No. But let's go. Scusi, mi direbbe dove il ristorante a cinque stelle più vicino? Yeah, it's just two blocks up on your left. You can't miss it. Grazie, grazie mille. I didn't know you spoke Italian. I don't. Why? Uh, Michaela, back me up here. Here, let me get that. Yeah, weren't you just talking with that lady? What? She wanted directions. Hello? You is a weird bird, Allison Drake. Yeah, well, Max always said, everybody is somebody's weirdo. May I help you, miss? I'm here for the reading of Max Crow's will. May I see your documentation, please? Yeah, here. Very good. The reading is being held in suite 668. Great, the neighbor of the beast. I beg your pardon, sir. Lando, don't mind him, Jeeves. It's time for his medication. Come on, Allie, elevators are over here. God, Orlando. Sorry, really, I'll shut up. Good. Floor, please. Sixth floor. Very good, madam. So, Allie, did Barnaby say how Max... What happened? He was climbing some mountain somewhere and his line broke or his crampon came loose or something. What the hell was he thinking? I mean, he had to have been at least 50. What's an old man doing climbing a mountain for crying out loud? Easy, baby, easy. You don't mean that. Yeah, 50 ain't that old. Orlando, enough. Or so help me, I'll decorate these charming marble walls with your face. No, Kayla, it's okay. We're all trying to deal with this. I don't think you can big sister us through this. Sixth floor. Doesn't mean I can't try. Allison. Hi, Barnaby. You remember Michaela, don't you? Hey, Barney! How could I forget? Barney? Mr. Waters, we've only been acquainted for a few brief hours, but I feel perfectly justified in implying dire consequences should you utter that name in my vicinity again. Barnaby really hates nicknames. Uh, but Michaela... Can kick his butt in backgammon and won the privilege. I demand a rematch. Anytime, Mr. B. Miss Drake. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Easy, Kayla. This is Caliban. Miss Michaela Roth, yes? A pleasure. 
How do you know? This way, please. We're ready to begin. May I present Mr. Ambrose Royce, senior partner with Royce and Associates. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for arriving so promptly. Please be seated. Senior partner? This Royce guy looks like the founding partner. Yeah, who knew that the mummified look would make a comeback? Miss Allison Drake, as designated executor of the last will and testament of Maximilian Crow, I am obligated to inform you that you are neither required nor bound by any of the stipulations set forth in this document. While they may be his sincere wishes, they are by no means law. You are free to choose. Thank you, Mr. Royce. Um, free to choose what, exactly? According to these documents, Mr. Crow has left you the property, chattels, and assigns of one U Storit Self-Storage Enterprise, located at 2313 Barrows Lane. A self-storage business? Hmm, quite. In addition, Mr. Crow has designated that you receive a portion of his estate totaling $2,500,000 in American currency. However, should you require some other... Whoa, whoa, uh, two million? $500,000, yes. If you require that amount in gold bullion or some other marketable commodity, our offices will be happy to provide you. Wait, where did Max come by two million five? And you said that's a portion of his estate? Yes, Miss Drake. And while Mr. Crow honored Royce and Associates with the privilege of handling most of his financial accounts, I'm not at liberty to divulge their details or history at this time. Oh, really? (laughs) Easy, Allison. Not at liberty to divulge at this time? Okay. When will you be at liberty? Alison, please, this is most unbecoming. Screw unbecoming! My life was coming together just fine, and then bam, you show up and tell me Max fell off of a mountain that I didn't even know he was on. And now, I learn that a small fraction of his estate comes to over two mil, and all I figured he was hoarding was frequent flyer miles. Hey, hey, Allie, calm down, child. And it turns out... It turns out that I didn't know... I didn't know anything about him at all! Get her out of here. I'll settle things here and meet you downstairs. Right. You got it, Mr. B. Come on, honey, let's go outside and get some air. Go outside and get some air. Of course, you already know you've been given power of attorney in this affair, Mr. Briggs. Sign at the indicated positions and we'll see to the details. Yes, that's what you do best, isn't it, Royce? Do I detect a recrimination, Mr. Briggs? Recrimination? Good heavens, how could I possibly recriminate you for the warmth and compassion you just showed that poor girl? I don't think poor is necessarily accurate at this point. Don't play with me, Ambrose. The girl has been through a lot and you know it. Yes, indeed I do. And considering you're one of the individuals putting her through this, I expect you know it too. And she'll be facing a great deal more before this drama is played out. Drama? Drama? Is that how you see this? My God, man, the stakes are astronomical and you're throwing around theatrical terms? Now, now, Mr. Briggs. We've already had one outburst in these offices. Another might make our security teams a bit edgy and aggressive. I will tell you this, Royce. Max may have trusted you enough to let you handle his affairs, but I don't. Not any farther than I could throw this building. And until this whole affair is completed, I would appreciate you keeping your involvement with Alison Drake and myself to an absolute minimum. That includes your flunky here, is that understood? We'll take it under advisement. The secretary will have all the necessary documentation for you on your way out. Good day, Mr. Briggs. Hmm. He has not changed. I disagree, Caliban. In the past, he would not have included an innocent in his petulant little grandstand. He has feelings for this Alison Drake. Feelings? Does that disturb you? Why should it, my master? Caliban, never, ever answer one of my questions with a question. I thought we had this discussion long ago. Forgive me, Lord. There is something about this Drake woman. She's a wild card. A speck of chaos in a carefully ordered playing field, and she's affecting everyone, including you. She will bear watching. See to it. Yes, my master. She's still in there? Yep. As soon as we got back, she went into her room, closed the door, and she ain't come out. That was five hours ago. You gotta understand, Orlando. Max was like a magical thing in her life. Like a fairy godfather who always came when she needed him the most and always loaded up with great presents and amazing stories and 
He really was extraordinary. Did you ever meet him, Michaela? A couple of times. He came to Allie's first juried exhibition. I remember because he came in looking like Indiana Jones, all khaki and leather and dust, just like he fell out of the desert or something. He made a real splash with the tuxedo and evening gown crowd, I can tell you. I bet they loved him. Actually, they did. Max had something. I don't know what. Charm? Charisma? Hell, by the end of the evening, he had the board convinced that Allie was the next Michelangelo. Seriously? No lie. Then afterwards, we went out to some piano bar, just the three of us, and Max told us about old legends of shaman painting magic on the walls of caves and stuff, and the dim lights and the music and Max's voice. It was like you could smell the dust of the caves. Wow. Yeah. He wasn't around much, but when he was, he really made it count, you know? I can see why Allie felt so deeply for him. Hey, speak of the devil witch herself. How you doing, girl? Wrung out, drained, sad, pissed off, and really hungry. Ah, well, the first part will pass with time and love, mon cher. But that last part we can handle right now. Ooh, maybe Orlando can mix up some of that crazy Cajun voodoo food he does so well. Jambalaya ain't voodoo food, girly. Actually, I kind of want to get out, you know? See some people walking around. Life living and all that. Sure, Allie. Works for me. Hey, there's a new Tex-Mex joint just a few blocks down on Boyle. Sounds good. The walk will do me good. Not to mention the sparkling conversation of good company. The best company. Listen, guys, thank you. I really appreciate you all hanging out while I pull it back together. That's what friends do, babe. I knew a drummer who used to say, Know the ones you love and love the ones you know. Know the ones you love? Yeah, don't sweat it, Allie. All I got on my plate is working up the fight choreography for Hamlet, and that doesn't even start for like three weeks. And Lando here is a vagrant blues man. He doesn't even have a life until Friday night. Hey, now. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, what can I say? I'm a vagrant blues man. Allie, what's wrong? Let's take a detour to the Tex-Mex, guys. You still got gas in your car, Orlando? Sure, where you want to go? Barrows Lane. Barrows Lane? What's out on... Oh... Wait, you lost me. The storage place. What? The you store it? Allie, honey, come on. Are you trying to make yourself miserable? Know the ones you love. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I was just thinking. I never sent Max a Christmas card. Aw, baby, don't put that kind of guilt on yourself. No, Kaylee, you don't get it. I didn't send him a card because I never had his address. I'm 23 years old and I never had an address for Max. Well, didn't you say he was always traveling? Orlando, everybody takes their mail somewhere. Max didn't even have an email address. And excuse me, he has the time to arrange all the business of leaving you this used store place, plus 2.5 supersized, and he doesn't even have the time to write a damn letter? That ain't right! Kayla... No, Orlando, she's right. Max was a lot of things, but Thoughtless was never one of them. Hold on, hold on. You're both starting to sound a little... Look, I know it sounds all Oliver Stone-ish, but I want to go out there. This place is the only tangible connection I have to him, Lando. I really want... I need to make a connection with Max before I can let him go. (sighs) Let's go. No, just the opposite. She was absolutely furious. I thought she was going to jump across the desk and throttle Royce in front of us all. Well, surely, but I really wasn't prepared for... I know what's at stake as well as you do, but you didn't see the poor girl break down in tears, eh? Don't worry, I'm not... Don't lecture me. Everything is under control. I have to go. Someone's coming. Well, I'll have to go look to find out now, won't I? I'll call you later. We're closed. I'm very sorry, but the facility is not open at this time. Barnaby? Allison, what are you doing here? Well, I do own the place, don't I? Well, yes, <laughs> of course. I, I just didn't expect... What are you doing out here, Barney? Michaela, please, my name Answer is... the question, Barney. Now, see here, Allison. You've undergone a horrible ordeal, and you are grieving the loss of a dear friend, my dear friend as well, I'll have you remember. And I can forgive a great deal, but you will not take that tone with me. Allison, girl, think about what you're doing. Allie. Barnaby, I've known you since I was a little girl. You've always been a sweet, dear man, and I... You're right. 
I'm sorry, okay? But something's going on. Something's not right, and I really, really want to know what it is. Well, apology accepted. I was, um, just about to put on some tea. Shall we all go inside and talk about this? What the? That shall not draconis. What the hell is that? Alessina Draconis. Ganesh Telal not have a nur. What birthright? I don't know what you're talking about. Ali, what's going on? Renash Torad. Hey, back off, tough guy. You... Orlando! Allison, run! Come on, freak show! You want a date? How about me? <laughs> Michaela, no! Oh, God. Barnaby? Allison, you've got to get out of here. Come on. But Michaela... Is that all you got? Seven feet of ugly with bad grammar? Michaela seems to be holding her own. You've got to get away from here now. <laughs> Michaela! Can you dig? Tash! New Grand and Draconis! Oh, God. Who? Caliban? This has always been a dangerous neighborhood, Alice and Drake. It attracts all manner of unsavory types. Unsavory? This was a Tenexor warrior. You can tell by the ritual scarring and the blackened fangs. Barnaby, what is he talking about? It's all right, dear. You're fine. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, my God. Orlando, Michaela. Caliban, I... You're welcome, Master Briggs. You may wish to reconsider your deception. She is in play now, whether you wish it or not. I suppose you're right. Caliban? Damn him. Orlando? Oh, God, Lando? Uh, I'm okay. W where's Kayla? I... Oh, I think you'll find... <clears throat> bits of me all over the parking lot, but most of me is right here. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I, I don't know what I would do if anything... Hey, child, it's okay. We ain't going anywhere. What happened? That three-horn thing clocked me and all I saw was pretty lights and asphalt. Caliban happened. The pretty boy from the lawyers? Uh-huh. He, um... He killed the thing. With a sword. Okay. My reality check just bounced. What the hell is going on around here? Allie, were you talking to that thing? You said something about a birthright. Didn't you hear it? All I heard was, snog off, I got snog. Me too. He called me Alicina. He, he said he was going to take my, my birthright, but he was speaking English. No, Allison, he wasn't. He was speaking in his, its, native tongue. Barnaby, what's going on? Come along. We need to see to your friend's wounds, and then... Barnaby! You... There is so much you need to know, Alison. I had hoped you wouldn't be forced into this, that you'd somehow be able to choose, but, my dear girl, you are special. One of the most special people on this world. What are you talking about, Barnaby? What... Alison, you are a rift walker. And your birthright is nothing less than all of creation.